big fan up here. He's been wanting to play this song with me for a long time. He came to this meeting with this guy. He's a little nervous. Can we let you see my film for, for your wife? I think so. Okay. And you guys are like this because it's it, it is what it is. So you guys, are, you know, but, but forgive me. You wanted to do this. I wasn't. I went out to you know the lyrics. Are gonna have to. They might be a little salty. Hold up. So let's get it on the second fret for you. Uh, Blake, can I borrow one of your capos? So I'm throwing him off. So he's already like, he's already worried. years and uh, kind of did the, the you know got a, uh, worked a publishing deal and kind of did the uh, the working songwriter thing for a while I wrote a lot of songs with a bunch of really cool writers trying to get uh, stuff on country records and got a couple cuts I uh, wrote a song with the John Wayne an English singer that uh, I've work, been working with for years and been a fan of for years and uh, called if you ever get lonely, uh, it ended up on a uh, <clears throat> Love and Theft album on Warner Brothers, and then there was a Gloriana song, that, and then, then there was this, this song that uh, Tim McGraw actually, do you know that? Tim McGraw actually recorded this? And uh, people were like throwing fucking parties in my name when Tim McGraw recorded shit. You know? <laughs> you know, banquets. You know? Good thing I didn't put a down payment on anything based off that. Because you recorded it, but you know it's kind of important if you put it on an album. Just recording it doesn't make you rich. You find it in this business. Shall we? Yeah. We shall. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Kyle Abner. No pressure.